Okay, so I just popped the CD into my disk drive and um, up comes the uh, message to open the folder to look at the files. I have two versions here, the Mac version uh, and the PC version. I'm going to drag the PC version over to my desktop and that'll take a few minutes to load. So those are all the files you need to run uh, Geometry Slideshow. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and um, there's some information here you can click on. I'm going to go right to a lesson, Chapter 5, Lesson 2, and open this file up. Now, when you first open PowerPoint, you're in edit mode. Right here, this Sketchpad hyperlink isn't set up to link unless you're actually presenting the lesson. So right now, this is just a JPEG or a GIF sitting here. Uh, you could change this picture to whatever you wanted. Um, if I edit the hyperlink, you'll see that it's set to open up this Circumcenter uh, Geometer Sketchpad file as soon as I click on it in presentation mode. I'm just going to leave that alone and I'm going to go ahead and start the lesson. So uh, I, normally I would start the lesson, start talking about these definitions, and then here comes the sketchpad. Now I've just talked about what the circumcenter of a triangle is. I can now click on this hyperlink and it'll ask me if I want to open the file. I'm going to click OK and now I'm automatically into sketchpad. Um, What's cool about Sketchpad is you can do things that you could never do in PowerPoint. Like I can move these uh, points around. Uh, let's let's go ahead and minimize this a little bit so that you can see everything. Okay, so now I have some tabs here at the bottom that uh, that you can see here. Um, this is the perpendicular bisector I've constructed here, but just for one side. I'm now going to click on this one, which is a different construction, which shows the perpendicular bisector uh, for two sides. It does not show uh, the circles and stuff that were used to do it, as, as the first slide did. This shows all the constructions involved. Um, but if I go ahead and display show all hidden, you can now see all the constructions involved in, in making those two perpendicular bisectors. Uh, I'll just go back to display and hide objects again and uh, you know you can talk about how uh, you know sometimes the uh, the circumcenter is inside the triangle and you can position the triangle uh, so that the circumcenter is outside or inside uh, and then if I go to all three uh, perpendicular bisectors you know you can uh, see how all three meet at the same point the circumcenter and then um, this is a cool little uh, animation. You can click on that and it'll circumscribe a circle with the circumcenter being the center of that circle. And um, as soon as you're done messing around with this and showing kids, you know, how the uh, perpendicular bisectors make the circumcenter, all you got to do is close it out. And it asks you if you want to save it. I would say no, just keep the original version of that file. And then you're back in your PowerPoint and you're just clicking along and, um, you know, uh, here, here's another uh, sketchpad file. Let's click on this one and see what this one's about. This is um, the circumcenter theorem. It's talking about how the distance from the vertices to the circumcenter is always the same, no matter how you move. And uh, the way this construction is done is these these distances are always shown right here. So you can see how they're always the same, no matter how you change a triangle. You can change any point on the on the triangle, and they they always stay the same. It's a great program to mess around with. If you uh, ever lose the uh, hyperlink, the hyperlink stops working. I'll show you how to change that in just a second. Here's another one. Uh, this is showing the uh, the in center using the uh, angle bisectors. So that's from a single vertex, and now from two vertices. Here's showing three angle bisectors and how they meet at the in center. And if you want to click on this tab, it inscribes a circle. So cool. Hope that helps uh, to see what this program's about and what it can do for you.